Hey there and welcome back to Seahawk Central News. I'm Isabella Pleasance. And I'm Hannah Creech. This is a weekly show where we fill you in on what's happening on campus in the Wilmington community. This week we'll be talking about all the exciting events that come along with the start of the school year and some things you may have missed over summer. We have updates on the construction around campus, news about a popular TV camera crew showing up at a busted Wilmington party, and info on the active shooter drill. So sit down and stay tuned because Seahawk Central News starts right now. The Lifetime original series Live PD Women on Patrol has been shooting in Wilmington for several months and the first season featuring our city has already aired. However, some UNCW students learned the news of the WPD's involvement in the national TV show The Hard Way when camera crews arrived on the scene of an off-campus party last week along with responding officers. The show follows women police officers while on the job and claims to provide an unfiltered look into the realities of police work. Live PD, of course, follows privacy protocols that blurs the faces of anyone who wishes to not be filmed. However, if you tune in within the next few months, you may notice some familiar scenery and faces. During summer break on August 13th, there was an active shooter drill performed in several locations on campus, such as Randall Library, Keenan Auditorium, Deloach, and Bear Hall. The University Police Department, regional first responders, the university leadership team, student volunteers, and other campus units came together to help refine the school's response to a real active shooter situation. The university believes that the exercise was success and a beneficial learning experience for everyone involved. If you would like to learn more about how to react to an active shooter situation, visit the University Police webpage. Was in the first week of classes at UNCW, sororities and fraternities held a tabling event you were sure to notice along Chancellor's called Meet the Greeks. This event is meant to advertise to potential new members, or PNMs, particularly incoming freshmen. Roughly only 11.6% of students are actively involved in Greek life at UNCW, which is considerably less than regional averages. We asked Shelby Holden, Recruitment Director, and Bree McGee, Panhellenic Delegate of UNCW's Tri Sigma Chapter, how they plan to capture the eyes of the class of 2023. Just like being on the recruitment side of it like as a recruiter for a chapter on campus the main thing that we try to do is market just because Greek life here really is kind of small you just see all the development that's happening yeah. and that's just going to attract more and more students so our job on the marketing side is to get more people attracted to the both Holden and McGee wish for Greek life at UNCW to flourish in the future and are happy to help make it happen Returning Seahawks are probably used to the amount of construction on campus, but it may surprise new students. Not to worry though, several of the big construction projects are coming to a close this school year. Veterans Hall is almost finished, while Dobo Hall, the Film Studies Building, and the parking deck by Bell Hall are expected to be finished by the end of this academic year. The new residence halls are well on their way for their tw fall 2020 opening. Amidst all this, construction will begin on a new dining hall and a coastal engineering building. Above all, I think students and faculty will be ecstatic to have Dobo back. Before we see you again next week, here are a few fun or interesting things going on UNCW students should know about. If you're looking for an on-campus job, on Wednesday, September 4th, the Campus Rec Center is doing hiring sessions at Cameron Hall in Room 105 starting at 6 p.m. Also on August 30th, the Wilmington Ice House is hosting a campus-sponsored ice skating event starting at 10 p.m. Admission is $3 at the door with a student ID. Well, that's all for us this week. Don't forget to like, follow, or subscribe to UNCW Till TV on your favorite social media platform. If you have any story suggestions or just want to talk about the show today, leave us a comment. With Seahawk Central News, I'm Hannah Creech. And I'm Isabella Pleasance. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.